And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at make to order bills and materials, which is a part of the advanced manufacturing module within DIA systems. So in some of our previous videos, we've taken a look at the standard production bomb. And today we're looking at the make to order bomb, which the main difference between the two is this bill of materials is much more suited to customizable products as it's within the name make to order. So the main difference being is that you can actually configure options within this bill of materials so that your customer is able to choose from a variety of parameters. This can be used as a really good tool on the sales side so you can select different options or alternatively this can actually be used on the DIA web portal so you can create your bill of materials, push it to your web portal and your customer can actually visit that portal and actually select these options themselves and push that bill of materials through to the system as a sales order. So it can be a really useful tool if, you're, if you sell products that can either be configured or changed or even have their own custom options such as engraving for example. So to get started with this bills and materials, we'll want to go to inventory and products and we'll even need to create a product or find a product for which we wish this bill of materials to apply to. Before we get started, there are a couple of things that are worth noting. Product make to order items must not be FIFO stock costing method. They can be any of the below but not straight FIFO, they can be FIFO serial number or FIFO batch. Make to order bombs can be for stock items only and not service or inventory. Minimum before reorder and reorder quantities are not applicable to make to order products. Suppliers, reorder levels and additional units of measure cannot be added to make to order products. And finally, at this time, of recording this video, we cannot import these bills and materials. So you can import all your components and your finished items, you just can't con do the configuration via Excel and import them in bulk. So it can be quite a, a time consuming process if you do have lots of these items. So that should be part of your decision making process when deciding to go with this bill of materials. So to get started, you'll just want to come to the bill of materials option here and make sure you have make to order bomb selected. Once you do that, you can then come to your make to order bomb down here. And other than a few very slight changes, it is almost identical to the production bill of materials. So I would definitely advise watching the production bill of materials and getting yourself familiar with this module before taking a look at this setup. So the key difference here is that we now have up, well, we now have the template component type available. So everything is the same, your setup should be the same apart from this new template component type. Now the template component type is, a, is used to define a line that will be substituted by a custom option. So the rest of our bill of materials is the same, but we have a flavour template. So we're an ice cream manufacturer, we sell one litre tubs of ice cream, and in our case we're allowing the customer to choose from multiple different types of flavours. The rest of the bomb is the same, we just use one litre tub, one litre label, one litre lid, but this fake flavour template is going to change the type of base mix we use depending on what the customer's ordered. So this is a very basic example, but you can as manage, add as many of these template lines as you like, and you can essentially customise it to your item. For example, if you produced cars or if you're ordering a new car from a website, it would be very similar. You would have a template for wheels, you would have a template for interior, you would have a template for paint, and within there you would configure all the different options that the customer can actually choose. So once you've defined your template, which can be done really simply just by selecting template and typing in what the name for that is, it is a completely free text. Once we have done that, we can then move to the make to order custom options view. So this is where we're changing what the customer is actually seeing and what they're actually choosing from. So first of all, we want to define our menu name. So each template within our bomb should have a menu name. So we just have the one, which is flavor. If you had two, you would add it here. So in the car example that I gave, you would have interior and wheels. Very straightforward. In our case, we're just gonna have the flavor. From here, you can then add a photo, should you wish, or even a description of this menu. And you can define if it's optional or required 
and then you're able to define if it's a menu item, a choice or a custom element. At this point, we just want to go with menu item. Once we have done that, we can then proceed to add the actual options the customer has to choose from. So in our case, we can create a couple of sub menus in here. Just going to delete that menu in there. Add sub menu. And then what we're now going to do is we're going to make this a choice. So we're going to add a couple of choices and make sure these are all choices. So this is how we set up, this is how we go about building the make to order bill of materials. We essentially separate it out by menu and then choices. So the flavor is the menu, and then the choices are strawberry. chocolate and vanilla. Again, going back to a, a, a different example, interior would be the menu. We'd have leather, upholstery, fabric, for example, or wheels, alloys, trims. So that's essentially, you can start to gauge of how you build out this menu item. For these, we can then assign a photo a description. We can then input a price delta should this need to change depending on the options. For example, it might be plus 100, negative 100 or negative 50 or whatever else it might be. And then finally, to finish this off, you do have the custom, custom element option. Now, this is essentially used for things like embroidery or text or an image. It's essentially where the customer can enter something that doesn't exactly relate to a product. So for example, it doesn't really apply to ice cream here, but it might be two math on the label. So the customer is informing us that they want this ice cream to be customized to say two math on the label. For example, or embroidered on a t-shirt, happy birthday, or on a card, happy birthday. So you, it's essentially custom options that you can configure. So now that we have done that, we've built our flavor, strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla, and we can also add photos at this point, should we wish. We can just open up that menu and add a picture. We can make sure we're gonna go with required here, and we're gonna select strawberry as the default, default option. So the customer has to select an option to order this product. So you can build different menu items, ones that are required and ones that are optional. Once we've configured our custom options, we can then finally go to the actual configuration itself. Now this is where we're linking actual SKUs in the system to the options that we've displayed. So we can go ahead and select configuration. We can select our template, which was flavor, and we can select our menu item, which was also flavor from the previous screen. Now we selected our template and menu item, we just need to link actual components to the options. So from each of the choices, you can select bomb component. I'm just going to delete that line there. We can select the product. So in this case, I'm just going to type in strawberry and you can see I have strawberry ice cream in the system. Chocolate, I'm gonna go ahead and type in chocolate We've got chocolate ice cream, and then we're going to go ahead and type in vanilla, and we can select vanilla ice cream. So now, at this point, we've linked actual SKUs in the system to the options. So when the customer orders this product back to the main screen, it will decide which flavor of ice cream to apply, depending on their choice, and then add a tub, a label, a lid, and Callum as a resource to put that item together. Back to the configuration, we can then say any if any quantities need to change dependent on the option. So for example, if they chose a certain option, does that how many of that item do we actually need to use? So if you have a business where depending on the option, the quantity changes, you can input that in here. In our case, it's nice and straightforward. So we can just select one and select copy to all of these because depending if the customer orders one liter tub, we're just gonna use one liter of ice cream and so forth. 
From this point, we have essentially now completed our mate to water bomb and we can go ahead and select save. That is now configured and it is ready to start selling. Of course, I've used a very, very basic example here with just one step and one template item. But if, if it would help, we may make other videos with more complicated scenarios. And if you have any examples you'd like to use, please do include them in the comment section down below. To finish this off, now I'm just going to show you what this actually looks like on a sales order. So we're going to go ahead and go to uh, a simple sale. I'm just going to make sure that's saved first. And we are going to copy our SKU. We're going to go ahead to simple sale, create a sale. Of course, on the web portal, it will look a little bit different, but this is what it looks like on a sale. So I'm just going to fill out our sales order details here. I've entered our customer information. I've then come down to the order itself, and I'm now going to type her in the SKU for the item we've just built. Once we select that item, you'll see the comment field will be listed as configuration. So you won't be able to use the comment field when you're using the make to order bomb. And when you select this, you'll then be able to select customize and it will bring up a nice custom view for you where you can select all the options you previously used. So you can see this is where the images really come into play because it's a much more visual experience and you can select flavor and then I can select strawberry, chocolate or vanilla. And this is also where the price deltas would be calculated in the right hand corner here. So I'm going to select strawberry. I can select save. Once we've done that, D has now configured that make to order bill of materials in the background for me. I can go ahead and click authorize on this order and that is now ready to be produced and it is ready to be moved forward using our custom make to order bills of materials. Now the make to order bills of materials is, is new so you can see the loading time is a little bit extended there, but because it is make to order, I can now go to related orders. You can see it's created a manufacturing order for me and you can select that and from this point the process is exactly the same as processing any normal production order with the key difference being you can see rather than the template being visible as you saw on the previous bomb you can see it substituted it with strawberry ice cream okay so hopefully this video is useful and like I said previously, this video can be really expanded into lots of different options. So if you do want us to cover a specific scenario, please leave it down below and be more than happy to do us a further video on a more complicated version.